Greetings dear watchers, welcome back. This is the episode 3 and now we're gonna talk about my legendary underwater base and don't you dare call in this title a clickbait. It is a legendary underwater base on my end. Hey again, before the video starts, I'm gonna need you to bring some element. Yes, I got enough gas now. This channel, Kaiser from Crete, is a replicator and I farmed everything but element. And that element is your subscription with the notifications. So, if you got the element, the video starts. We're gonna build and live in this beautiful spot. So, this is it. It looks a little bit like a cave, but it's not a cave. And that's a good thing. That's why this place is not six times damage. The map is Walgaro Underwater Ocean and the coordinates are 37.8 and 37.8. In Walgaro, there are three entrances to this underwater ocean and I'm gonna show you how you can get here with each one of them. This is a pretty common spawn point with resources, materials and dinos for early game start. And just right under me, there is an entrance. It's a huge tunnel with no split ways. This is just straight way until you see the end of the tunnel. So I'm just gonna speed this clip. You need to just keep going. But there will most likely be dangerous water creatures all over this place. I mean two swords, palacios, megalodons, all that. Now at the end of the tunnel, you make a good right. Go a little bit, you're gonna see the medium sized base location. I built this in the episode 2. Now keep going right until you see this lava river. This could be a good landmark for you. After this, just look at it straight. It's just right over there. You might miss it if you don't know the spot, but it's pretty obvious. Now this is the second entrance, middle of the map. Let's just dive in. This is another tunnel, like a vertical one this time. After you see the opening, make a left and go under this bridge. Then just keep going straight. You can recognize that giant tunnel over there, but if you don't have a tech helmet or a gas mask, you probably can't see it. Tsukuba helmet also helps a little bit, but not that much. Now, you make another left and follow this line. You see that landmark? That means we are here. And this is the last one. It's the entrance from the crystal cave. And this is pretty far away. I'm just gonna speed this up really fast. You can pick a right or left and you should not stop until you see the giant tunnel. Then rest is always the same. Alright, now, how are we gonna build this? For unofficial settings, just go and do your thing. Everything is possible. But for official settings, you have to be careful here. First rule, do not make the vacuum chambers sticking out. People can take rifle them above or below. Now, your first vacuum chamber is everything. You see this corner? That's where our spot is. Now, be very careful with that one. It needs to be able to snap another one above. So if you can do that, it's all good. 
all right after this one my goal was to be able to place three by three then rest is gonna be different for everyone i couldn't build the same thing twice there will be differences on everyone's build because no clip means if you place it a little right you're gonna lose one from the left if you place a little bit to the front you're gonna lose another one from the back or somewhere so interior most likely will be different for everyone Now, another goal is here to be able to close it off with two vacuum chambers. So you can have more place for turrets. The whole thing like a wall, but if you can't do that, it's still okay. My first build was like that. I couldn't place some, so it wasn't perfect, but it still worked fine. All right. The build is pretty much over. Now this works fine but I can't say I like this build. There could be better placing. You could claim more areas. But the problem here is you don't know until you place everything. And you can't take it back. So you are stuck with whatever you have. This build I just did on single player is alright. But I assure you it could be better. Because I think the official one is way better than this. So this is how much space we have here. Like floor after floor. You can have everything you want. And you can even place a tech teleporter here but only in single player or clip on. For official settings it shows green but it just doesn't place. I have tried with two different bases in the spot and I couldn't place a TP anywhere. Also, make sure to freeze your vacuum chambers from both sides because your tribe mates will open them and let your dinos drown. Even though you close them in time, like really quick, dinos get bugged and they still drown. We lost a lot of dinos like that now after you place everything we'll do the defenses i did not use the first wall of vacuum chambers for room i used them as turret snap points do not use hatch frames underwater they block some of the line of sight if you open vacuum chambers turrets will stay there and they will also cover almost 100 percent of the area for the last thing, never place turrets at the corners. These silver lines are actually structures. They will block turrets from shooting. They won't shoot if you place one right into one of those lines like this. Alright, this is an official Small Tribes video. Not a single player tutorial. Let's go back to Small Tribes 82 and let's build something nice, something powerful, something that is gonna survive the night. All right, where are we? This is server 82 official small tribes and we are going to build an underwater base. So I need to place this one at the corner and then another one on top. That's the design. This didn't work. I need to pick it up really fast. I'm gonna have to do this few times before I can get it done right. So now, all right, this one worked fine. After that one, rest just moves into place. So dear watchers, this is gonna be good. Let's place the rest of the vacuum chamber we've got three by three is done we have few more left but I think I need them for defenses now the generator is placed as well and we're in business this is where it all started remember this dearly this is the new era so we had a transmitter i placed it right next to the tech jenny but my tribe mate opened the wrong vacuum chamber now it's obstructed by transmitter we can't close it i had to replace the vacuum chamber to close it but then we couldn't open this one so we lost the transmitter we're gonna have to get another transmitter soon all right our first turrets are placed for the defenses when you open the vacuums turrets are practically floating So someone opened the vacuums in the medium sized base. Even though we closed it immediately, dinos got stuck in the drowning state. That's why we have to cryo or move them to save them from drowning. I built a crafting station and first things first, we craft some bullets. We got the Indie Forge here and other stuff. It's really good and spacey. I like it. 
And this is the second floor. In the forge, kinda takes up some space, but it's fine. We can't really fix that problem. We don't have moon pools yet, so we're using this airlock to get in and out. So we don't flood our base. Now, we have two gachas and a lot more vacuum chambers. The gachas are not element ones, unfortunately. They also don't fit in one vacuum high. We need two high to be able to uncryo them. And that will be soon. Is that a new Basilo baby? Let's go and get that. Very nice. Water breathing here is pretty good. So the base got a lot bigger. I placed more vacuum chambers. And we have more turrets now. Also, more chambers to place turrets. All the way up to bottom is gonna be filled with turrets. And this seems like a weak spot. I'm gonna fill this hole with metal structures. It's probably okay to leave it like this. But just in case if they could rush this side with dolphins or baryonics, I'll fill this to make sure they can't. Now, this is the second floor again, with more space. I think we still can place more, and this is gonna be our entrance. And it looks like this is a great spot for a moon pool. More turrets are in progress. We're gonna craft all here, then transfer them to the big base. All right, turrets are ready. Before this day ends, I want to do my best possible defensive stance. I really don't want to see my base destroyed tomorrow. And also before this day ends, let me show you the interior progress. We got some refrigerators, an industrial grill. This little room is gonna be an incubation area. Also, we got another floor above. It's our third floor so far. We are gonna store some dinos there. And we got a bread PT and a decent trike raisin. And this is our view, but we have to cover it. Tribe mates opens these walls by mistake and drowns our dinos. We cannot afford to lose bread dinos like that. We had an element gacha, but I think we lost that to water. So all vacuum chambers will be frozen all the time. We have another Aligacha. We'll be using that soon to farm element in our base easily. And we also got this Velo Breeder. It needs some stat cleaning. Right now it's too high level to be useful welcome back to next day and we are fine we are good and nothing wrong in the logs it's all good so today we're gonna raise some dinos it's a new day and i got some time to watch them grow up also the mana breeding always never stops does that sound right i don't know anyway a new baby will come out very soon incubation chamber is almost ready but i'm gonna rebuild this with metal structures this one is buggy with baby dinos they fall inside the acs another day passed and babies are growing we got two mana baby and also lots of other dinos so this is how i get meat for my babies with a bachelor and in underground ocean it works pretty well but rather slow a mosa or a tuso is so much better this place is swarming with water creatures and i'm back to my base i'm gonna swim all the way to the back this is nice We trapped and then knocked out a Dunkleur at the back of our base. This might be the safest way to tame something. So about this, cooked meat lasts longer, but it has less value. Before tech troughs, I always needed to cook meat. They don't spoil in the troughs, so dinos can actually eat them. And this is the incubation glass room. It looks cool, but kinda useless. And also, we're getting some wyverns very soon. And the fire wire hatched. And I got the poison wire. This is a pretty high level one. Before you could breed them of course. Our Dunkleo is ready for use. But looks like it's not gonna be viable to farm resources underwater for us. This doesn't get a lot. And also there is barely any nodes around our base. New day starts with mating some dinos. I'm gonna get RG eggs and Ankylo eggs. And downstairs we got Terras ready to mate. We'll get the eggs in a bit more breeding and raising honestly i'm just wasting time mana baby is also coming soon this is not a waste but you can't use manas underwater so this should not be your primary objective all right the base is about to get a lot bigger 20 wakum chambers and two moon pool we will not have to airlock anymore that's just great 
I wanted to place the transmitter at this corner, but it sticks out from the top, so that's not good. We can't waste a spot like that. So the transmitter goes here, and at the corner, I'm gonna place volts. Something like this is gonna be the thumbnail. I hope it turns out to be good. With the airlock gun, we have 3x3 three three vacuum chamber area for a crafting station. It's gonna be a replicator and vaults and some other structures. I'm not gonna add another in the forge because we can just afk burn the metal we're not rushing we are not in a cave we have time we have all the time in the world we're raising five dinos here soon it's gonna be too crowded to even walk around you'll see this is not how you get fish meat these donkleos are too tanky they can't kill my basilo but it takes too long for me to kill them we might not get raided anytime soon but our neighbors definitely don't want us here they ganged up on us have you ever seen this many water dinos baby basilo is raising we are gonna get a lot of them very soon and we are back on extinction to farm some element dust yet again for the tech replicator we need a lot of element since i am not good at arc pvp i started to carry a battery heavy turret terminals are the place where you can charge your batteries i talked about how to grab the doid with a rider in the last episode but i didn't have the footage so this was how it's done take a good look at this feature you'll never need because you got patched this even takes me a few times to achieve but we'll get there just bear with me all right that's it now the rest is just farming some element dust we finished that server really quick and now we're at another extinction. We're gonna farm this one and then we should have enough for the replicator. All right, we have enough materials for a tech replicator. Now, wait with me again, dear watchers. Even though we are very safe here, it's still exciting to craft it and place a tech replicator. This looks cool. This looks amazing. We just need more element. Then we can craft more vacuum chambers for the outside tower. That's gonna be our next move, but not very soon because outside tower will be easier to spot by our enemies. All right, now Ragnar Ragnarok loots. I built hidden storages at Ragnarok Desert for storing the loot I get from the drops. After I have enough good stuff, I'm gonna upload them. I also got hidden beds and hidden storages around the map, all near the drops. So let's go and get the drop from the other side. Alright, this is not great, but let me show you what I have in the hidden storage. Campo is good, but rest is not so much. Welcome back to another new day. And do you even remember that? We are on an enemy server. The enemy alpha is so clueless. So we tame two rhinos for speeding up the breeding process after we get an OP one. These rhinos will help us breed OP rhinos for everyone. And the little baby mana is growing up. I think we got this in the medium sized underwater base. So I did some work on the crafting station. Changed a few things. Added some walls for storage. And replaced the crafting structures to be more efficient. So this is our crafting station now.
and this is our defenses now we added a lot more heavy turrets and we got some tech turrets now i think raz have the tech grams for the tech turrets and he crafted and placed these tech turrets are a must in an underwater base or anywhere to be more accurate now we are on another walgaro and we are here to raid someone i mean we'll try to raid someone but that's gonna be on the next episode thank you for watching dear watchers see you on the next episode before you move on to the next one i appreciate if you subscribe